driving a 4xe so should be an interesting rig if you guys don't know we got a hybrid coming out and uh it should be fun to to get out there and wheel with y'all we've been doing it all week and uh, we're gonna be excited but i will pass over to my my counterpart here from a jeep performance parts standpoint just to give us a few words on that do they help supply all those backpacks that y'all have on really thank you guys for showing up here and for having us here it's always a great opportunity to come here every year and learn from you guys See what you like, what you don't like, what's right, what's wrong, what we could do better. Because like you, we're Jeep people and we put our loved ones in these things and drive them. So uh, looking forward to hearing from you and I just hope you guys have a blast. Thanks again for letting us be here. Today, <laughs> today should be fun. Um, so you guys all signed up for Gemini Bridges today, right? <laughs> yeah. We're going to go up, do Gemini Bridges and down Long Canyon. Is that what everybody planned? Yeah. <laughs> it is April Fool's Day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, welcome to Metal Masher. So we've got the new 2021 4x8 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. So this is our first electric Wrangler. Uh, we're out here on the trail, uh, taking out, testing out. This one's a fit outfitted with uh, some great Jeep performance parts. So a two inch lift, uh, some 35 inch tires, and we're out here really putting it to work out on these great trails. And mm -hmm. uh, let me just say, it's doing phenomenally out here. Uh, I mean, it's everything that you could imagine a Wrangler is today. Plus now you get the electric drive where you don't hear the gas engine running yeah. around, which is absolutely phenomenal. I heard you going up over an obstacle. It was just quiet. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. for me, as a, a lifelong Jeep owner and, and off-roader, this experience has been so unique and so different because you're able to just crawl over those obstacles and you hear nothing else other than mm -hmm. a little bit of hum of the mm -hmm. motor. And for me, that that's awesome. And, and it's been super fun to be out here with all this great Jeep community testing it out. Can you share any type of numbers as far as range or gas mileage or anything like that? Yeah, so, uh, well, gas mileage is a little bit mixed. It's a, uh -huh. a 49 MPGE, uh, 21 miles all electric is rated by the EPA. The 49, uh, just to make sure I heard you right. Yep, 49 MPGE. So that's uh -huh. with the uh, electric Combined. assist and all yeah, that yeah. in. Uh, 370 miles total range. Okay, wow, that's pretty amazing. Sounds like a really good option for a daily driver slash going off road absolutely yeah. just, just like all the jeep vehicles are i mean the thing that our engineers put to it is they want to make sure it was a jeep wrangler first mm -hmm. and give you all the benefits from electric vehicle second so it's lost none of its capability hopefully as you've seen on the trail i promise any of the hang-ups are driver limitations not <laughs> i think we're all going to experience a few driver limitations today so okay thank you It's crazy just having it be totally quiet, just crawling up over yeah. things. Yeah. 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 Okay, got it. Pretty, pretty Very cool. cool. So, and it's just got the JPP lift on there and 35s. I mean, this is basically what a customer yeah. could do today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so a transfer case. So it's just the roof. Is it? It's basically a Rubicon, right? Yeah. 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 Cool. Driver's side right here. Yep. So that way when you turn, your rear's gonna go right here. Right here. Yep. Lay that for a sec. Yep. And now turn hard, 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 hard. It's your 
your fault, Jesse. You should have been driving the Gladiator. <laughs> the charging port for the 4xe Wrangler Rubicon all you do is open it up and it's your standard level 2 charger Wow how long does it take to charge uh, two hours on a level got two three charge. different drive modes in the 4xe so hybrid is the default mode you've got electric that then goes to a pure electric drive mode and then e-save which conserves your gas so if you're driving to a trailhead and you want to run an all-electric it runs a gas engine the entire time mm -hmm. well, how about that so which mode did you check, choose for today? Uh, we were switching on and off. We were in electric yeah. mode for the vast majority uh -huh. of the trail, which was awesome. That's we were, pretty amazing. Yeah, we were cruising around the whole time basically in electric mode and accomplishing every event yeah. that we came across outside of yeah. some driver error along <laughs> the way. But overall, the car did just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, that's great. It was fun watching it go.